this national park might mislead you to think the haze in the air is natural. But in Great Smoky Mountains National Park, scenic views are often obstructed by air pollution that is definitely man-made. I think many people are really surprised to learn that the air quality in the Smokies is some of the worst in the nation. These forested ridges stretch across 800 square miles on the boundary between Tennessee and North Carolina. Not a good location for air quality. We recognize that because of an accident of geography and topography, actually our air quality here is worse than it is in Knoxville or, or, or Nashville. That's because these mountains are an obstacle to wind currents. Monitoring stations show how these high elevations tend to capture and concentrate pollutants in and around the national park. Airborne pollutants from urban areas, industrial sites, and especially from coal-fired power plants. Tennessee Valley Authority is the biggest uh, power generation company in the nation, and this is also an area where there's a lot of coal. So for a lot of reasons, we've been using coal-fired power plants to generate most of our electricity. The result is a smoggy haze obstructing the views. Air that is poisoned with high levels of sulfates and nitrogen oxides that produce ozone. And then there's acid rain. They have measured rainfall uh, on top of Klingman's Dome uh, at a level of acidity pretty close to vinegar. Besides the health hazard to park visitors, especially older people and children with respiratory problems, the air pollution here is damaging to plants and animals, affecting chemical balance in soils and streams. But there is some good news. Over the last very few years, we've actually begun to see that the Clean Air Act is working. Increases in pollution that were common over the last decade have now started to decline, in large part, say experts, because of regulations imposed on power plants. They have made huge, huge strides in cleaning up their emissions, like 90% in sulfates and probably 75% in the nitrogen oxides have been reduced just in the last few years. Good progress, they say, but still not enough. The bad news is we still have a long way to go before we actually get to clean air. And before the Great Smoky Mountains are no longer threatened by the winds that blow here. For Assignment Earth on Yahoo News, I'm Gary Stryker.